Good morning everyone, welcome to my channel. So I've just picked up my camera and taken you guys to the piece. It's sitting at the end of my craft table. And I thought this was the easiest for now to uh, work out where and how I'm going to do the next prompt. Now I have a couple little vacant spots. There's one there and one up there. That one up there caught my eye, I could write the word love but I sort of feel like it's a bit cramped for the space that it is. And that one is just, nah, just doesn't do anything for me. So I'm sort of of the opinion that there's nowhere really easy to slide into the current construction of the piece. There's plenty of real estate over here and of course on the other side, but that is probably my best option. And if I did write love, it'd be at an angle and it's probably only the length of a finger there. So I just, I don't know. I think there might be something else for there. I'm just going to hold off and that maybe, but it'd be tiny. I sort of feel like I still need some good sized elements. Even if they don't go on the skirt, I have the whole bodice yet to add bits and pieces to. So I'll just take you to the bodice. So just to refresh your memory. So I'm just going to slide over here. So here's the bodice. Now um, I've got a collar. I think there's two collars just sitting there as potential suggestions one day uh, to get that antique cotton feel to it because this is just a synthetic little dress. So I've got this whole bodice to clad with bits and pieces. And then as we come down, this skirt here, I plan to keep and that piece will slide in underneath and this will drape over it. So the seamstress part will sit roughly here. So I don't wanna to go too far in behind here, or if I need to, I can bring the, the lace up again. So I'm not too concerned about this skirt. It can be hitched up and down wherever to provide little windows to see the piece. So, I'm just hopping back up. I've just thrown some bits and pieces here as well. I've got this beautiful um, trim that I got in France. I hope to use that. And being that grandma was a seamstress, I've got a antique, um, uh, what do you call them? Tape measure as well, just hanging here for a future prompt that might you know, invoke that. So that's just a refresher on my piece. Skirt will have that section slide in under. So this is probably as big as it will get and then it'll just taper around the back. So that's sort of giving you a bit of an overview, especially for those who are new and you're wondering what the hang I'm doing. We're doing a mannequin based on a seamstress. So I might stop the video, I'll get back to my desk so that um, I can sort of start working on another element that can be added to this. And I'm thinking it'll go on the bodice. Okay, won't be a second. Hello everyone, I'm back. I'm sitting now at my desk and I've surrounded myself, I've just got to make a bit more room, with lace. And what I'm thinking of making is a collaged lace heart. And the lace is all the bits and pieces I can sort of pull together that evoke the shape. Big word, that's twice I've used that word today. Gee, it's going to be a big day today. I'm going to try and attempt to make the shape of a heart on a piece of antique linen that can be a little piece that attaches to the bodice or the skirt or wherever. It's just another little element ready to have in a little pile to pull together to finish the piece at the end of the project. So the plan is to find myself a piece of linen. Got some bits and pieces here in my neutral bucket. That's a nice, but it's nowhere near big enough. It sort of doesn't feel like a wedding that um Fabric. Let me just come up a little bit. You're right in the box of let's get ourselves organized. I knocked the frame as I walked up towards the other end of the desk, so it's a little bit skew with, but that's all right. We shall survive. Um, okay, I think these 
flower sacks are too coarse. We've got this bridal soft thing happening. So I think we just need some nice linen. I don't think these pieces are going to be big enough. I should try and contain myself on something like that, but I don't think I can. I wonder where I got that from. That'd be nice. That would make the lace pop. I need to go to a bigger bucket and find a big piece of linen. I'm pretty sure this is it. Let me just get this open. Yeah, here we go. That must be where I cut that piece, this old detail. Let's take that. Probably won't hurt to have a bigger piece because then maybe that is the start of a panel for the bodice. I don't know. Gosh, I feel hot. What's going on? I did drink my coffee really quickly, so now I feel hot. All right, this is a... And it comes fudgy. A linen, vintage linen tea towel. Um, now, girl, don't get too big. She's only a little mannequin. She's a size 8 or 6. She's not a size 16. <laughs> so try and keep yourself in check. Hmm. Let me just, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to go over to the mannequin. I'm going to place this piece of fabric there and just see if I'm in a one square scenario, two square, or I can go crazy and go to four squares. I just need to, I guess, visualize my parameters because the last thing I want to do is make it and then it just not fit on her because she's a tiny little thing. So I'll be back in a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. She's a one and a bit, so I could probably go to that. So, I'm, yeah, I think I'll be right. I'm going to just lift my heart up, aim for this crease, and just sort of come out here. To have that extra fabric around it won't be a bad thing because I can either utilise it, cut it off, build something into it. So, yeah. Okay, now I've got buckets of lace here. I've got my really old lace from France. I've got some more modern bridal pieces. Um, this is what I call my cutaway lace. So they're just interesting bits and pieces that can be broken down to create, you know, something or enhance something. So I'm sort of along the lines of that. And the last bucket, which is behind me, actually it's not the last, but it's part of the world of lace is I've got some of this, which was used on the skirt. We've already got a little bit of that, so it wouldn't be a bad thing to bring. And, and that, see I like these because it gives me those shapes. So very much um, veil lace. Um, what else have we got? There's all sorts in here. Let's repeat. That's different. Oh gosh, couldn't you just go to town? I haven't looked at that for a while. Look, I'm getting too much lace out. I do have some silk and things here, but I'm not a lover of the colours. I'm not going to use that down the track. The other thing I thought of is embroidering. A little heart because she was an embroiderer my grandmother very much so I wonder if I could embroider something just a small little little something I might just keep this piece of silk out what's silk like to embroider I've never I've never um, embroidered where's my pins got to I've never embroidered on silk might be very dense I'm sure they do but I haven't let's just poke a pin through oh yes that's that's not too bad it's very dense fabric a 
presume that's silk. Uh, it might be a mix. I'm just going to pull this piece out. Anything else in there of interest before I pull any more bits out? What's that? That's a lovely piece of linen. That shouldn't be in there. Put that over there. All right, let's put this guy away. So sidetracked here for a wee moment. What if, just looking for my pen. Um, I'm wondering, just to have a little morsel somewhere of to do with the prompt love, I could either do the word love. Is that going to bleed? This is all about having elements to add to my piece. If they don't get used, it's not a not a bad thing, but it'll help sort of build the story. So I could just embroider that word and that'd be a nice little piece to slide in somewhere especially being on silk so that's something I can think about the other thing I thought of was to do um, I'll get the drawing of the heart and then fill it in with embroidery little little flowers and French knots and you see heaps of them around on Etsy. Uh, let me just zoom in. So that's um and then do like build it up with little little pictures of things like little daisies and I need to get out my Jennifer Colston book and see what's in there. Then I might might go into some ruched roses. Just working my way around the perimeter, <clears throat> but keep it really fine. Um, what's some other flowers? Oh, I could do some little, up here I could probably do some little hanging thingamajiggers with little stamens to sort of break the line up a little bit. Some little French knot daisies. Yeah, I could really play. And then even if I wanted to leave that line, because I feel like I drew that really well, that's a nice shape. This here's a bit, bit messy. Pick it back up over here with, um, I don't know, think of a flower, any flower. Maybe just some little bud-like things as it builds back up to something a little bit bigger here. I'm just doing a daisy shape, but it's probably be a little bit of a ruched rose or could probably even come out of the heart line a little bit. <clears throat> I like that shape there. See where the pen didn't draw? Well, maybe I do some little French knot daisies there. Jeez, I have got sidetracked here. Are you not surprised? So I had this in my mind and then I started looking at the piece and I'm like, I want more lace. So that's just a a rough sketch. I could probably even put something over here if I could come up with another maybe I don't know my head's just not coming up with 20 flowers immediately I don't know that's a bit of a forget that when he, when all else fails roost, roost, roost rose is my go-to flower
Here we go. Maybe a few tiny beads just to sparkle it up or crystals or something. So I'm thinking along the lines of that. That, that might be just um, couched. Just keep it simple. Maybe in the reds and I don't know. And that's using a little bit of wedding lace. So that's part of the plan, it would seem. It wasn't when I sat down at the table, but anyway. You know how it goes. You never know what you're going to get. So homework or a video another day. Now, let's see if we can create a heart. So what are we going to do first? Do we... Where's that flower that has already appeared once? We need that shape. So I've just got to see if I can envision a heart in there somewhere. Like I like that curve. Cut that out there. Then we got this curve here. Maybe that's a start. That curve and that curve. Um, are there any better ones? Gosh, that's nearly a heart there. The bottom coming up. Let's let's just start cutting. Just start cutting, girl. Let's see what we can do here. So what I'm aiming for is there's the center coming out and that's the start of it. So let's get that bit out. And I like how there's this tool as well. It's gonna soften that fabric that I'm sitting on there. I need to just get this little piece out here. So it'll be a similar principle to the little heart that I just sketched. We're using lacy bits. I might take that whole piece because I say we'll be able to use him somewhere. And these little viney bits will be handy. A couple of those little bits. This little bit. Okay, we've just chopped a bigger bit and that bit. I don't know if I'll need all these bits. At least it's smaller. And I think that's the same. More or less the same thing. Yeah, it is. So we don't need that. That can go away okay so what did caught my eye it was this so I need to disconnect that flower and I think I'll disconnect it down here that might be too much oh, I'm trying to speak quickly cut fussy cut out these little pieces without making a hang of a mess is proving to be difficult okay that guy there seems a bit wrong, but we'll we'll include him at the moment because it's just getting rid of some bulk. Okay, can you see the top of my heart yet? <clears throat> so we definitely need to get rid of that.
you need to get rid of that otherwise it'll make the heart messy we'll leave So those little bits will be handy to help build the story. Is that the right colored fabric? This piece that I just found, I sort of feel like that's better, to be honest. This piece was in that lace. Whether it came from the bridal shop, I just feel like this is not as harsh. Feels a little bit more bridal. I'm changing my background, guys. All right, scrap that bit. We're into this bit now. This, um, it's linen. It's nice and old looking. I don't know where it's come from, but I like the color better. I'm looking across at my um, piece at the end of the table and I sort of feel like this is more bridal. That other seemed a bit more grungy. Okay, now what? Let's just, I guess, have a look around some of these other pieces and see if there's anything that might join in. That's a beautiful piece. I like some of that. That's really delicate leaf-like pieces. They'd be handy to soften it all up. So we're just going to snip all that out. <clears throat> I really like this big rose that's in my hand. Am I up high enough? Let's come in tight again. Let's give you a bit more viewpoint, hey? <clears throat> I didn't take much notice of how long I have filmed. See all those little pieces? They're really light, but I think they might be good for softening. And now there's this rose here. How do we work him in? See, this is how quickly my piece will get big. What a glorious piece, but it's got little pearls and sequins on it. I'm thinking that could be go in you know how do we do it see how big it's gonna get goodness girl I like its shape is there a small version? No. Just looking over there. It's too hard to get that out and it's too connected. I like how that one swishes that way, but it's pretty much this one, I think. And that was cut. Oh, this heart's going to get too big too quick, I think. Oh, I love that flower, but if I snip it out there and snip it out there and snip it out there, We've now got a small piece. Let's just do that. If we use it, we use it. If we don't, we lose it. I just feel like that might be just the big feature. I'll go right to the top because we might need the other piece. What's happening here with this lace? Where do I cut? I 
that's stitched into that. Let me come around from the other angle. Mm, tricky, tricky. That leaf may be disconnected anyway, because it might break the line of something. Okay. The heart's got a damn sight bigger than I had intended, <laughs> but it's okay. There's our curve. Now if we can bring maybe that in to there, like that. So those flowers connect into that plant. So then that would be cut here, but I can put flowers there to rebuild. Can you see where I'm going with this? I need to get rid of all this, but I will need something to rejoin in here. So I'm looking for that curve. So I will, don't want it to all unravel, but I do need this to dis... So I'll go wide and we'll pop some flowers there to help reinforce all of that. But they need to be, you know, smaller flowers, which shouldn't be a problem. I may even be able to bring that guy down. But let's just get it disconnected. Now, like I thought, I think that guy can be taken out and it'll reconnect into that there. So that'll look like it's growing onto the plant there. So now I just gotta get my angles right. Let's move this over to the center. So let's give ourselves some room. No need to be stingy on the fabric. So that will go there, that will go there. So I just will need to do something along this edge to start bringing, bringing my heart in. Maybe a bit more of a tilt. I don't mind that that is connecting to there. I like that. That looks like it's meant to be. So I can tilt that around and I've got my point to there. There are some little pearls here that will need to be reattached. So what have we got? We've got some curly bits here. No. I wonder if that could come up there. Let's get rid of that. If that joined into there, no, oh, it would probably handle it, you know, see the big, big chunky side, I could, so if I got rid of that, what would that look like? It's made it more dainty, okay, let's do it. So the rose from the top of this piece is now going to the other side and being put in upside down. And if that comes down to there, I can reinforce that whole corner, get those little pearls stitched in and that'll make the eye connect to the bottom of our heart. So now, what have we got left? We've got some little scroll leafy bits. So let's get a bit of shape. Just to start softening edges.
I wonder if that would connect it. Yes. Nelly. If that went to there. Yeah. Let's get rid of that. I don't need this line. We bring in that then to connect. So that looks like a double scroll. That gives it a nice soft side. That flower then joins the scroll. Oh yes, I think we've made it guys. We are around, <laughs> we are around the piece. Now we can start doing little extra bits to soften things and make it look like it's meant to be. So things like that and balance it out a little if it needs it. Yeah, that's good. Needs a little bit of work over here. So let's have a look at some of these little, some little flowers. Things like that can be added or added. See what I mean? How you can really start softening your piece. Gosh, happy with that. There's a bit of a, a leaf here that's a little bit more solid. Let's just fussy cut him out. to take the wispy bit off <clears throat> so it does look a little bit more solid no oh yeah that's what I do just to reinforce where I had to cut in and put a smaller element there yes that's better it's going to need something soft there. Maybe. Let's just take that little piece. Maybe bring it across there. It's very subtle, but it's sort of bring that out a little bit. Sort of building up a bit of a feature here and then thinning it out as we get higher. Don't think we need that. We won't need that. What I could do with is some more of these little guys. There it is. Don't think we need that. Just to like cluster a little bit. Does that make sense? So... That little fellow. Let's see if we can get him out. If we get him in there, just sort of makes sense a little bit. I feel like we need another one, but maybe one that has a bit of a tail tail on it yeah these little guys those ones let's try that guy and maybe we get the tail going up yeah that's better just is a little bit more interesting looks like that's meant to be these little guys, which is scatter. Another one. I'm 
there. So they can just look like little shoots. Then we'll pop them into there. All right, so that looks good. That's softer there. That's good. Sort of needs something up there, I think. Just looking up at my screen to... You sort of don't want it too heavy. You want little pockets where it... I wonder if this flower could be used. It's such a pretty little flower. Might be a bit big. Yeah, you sort of want to pockets of things to happen without it becoming just a, a garland. Otherwise, it'll lose its daintiness. Oops. Maybe this guy will... I don't know. I'm thinking and trying to speak. Maybe this guy would be better down here. Yeah. Yep. It feels like it holds its own compared to this fine guy. Maybe that just pops in there as a bit of detail. It won't ruin the line of the heart, but it does add interest to the heart. Now, my question is, should that be there? I do like how it is a twisted heart. But do I lift this up to open up the heart a little bit more? See, it's getting bigger. No, I think it needs to be a small er. Utilize the fact that that's it makes it more interesting. I'm just going to tighten it all up a little now. Everything's sitting flat. That there will work. That'll make that bottom a little denser. Do we need him? Probably not. Would he be better off there? Yeah. Yep. That swish down to the point here looks like yeah that's good I like that that looks like the heart's got a, a bit of movement it's heading down there yeah oh happy with that I could do a little bit more here with little flowers but I don't want to make it feel too heavy Let me just let me just cut out maybe a flower with a tail that probably won't look so blobby if it's got that little tail to soften it instead of it just being plonked on there look I'm thinking over here I don't want to do too much but because I like the fact that it's a bit airy over here and it's dense and then it softens but yeah yep just a little sort of makes that feel like it's got a, a purpose there we go it's a bit big but oh my goodness how do I do it didn't even get into these buckets. Look, look at that. Wouldn't have that made a nice heart? Look at all the little scrolly bits. Oh, goodness me. What else is in there? Oh, there's curvy bits. No, this is it. See, we've done. So now we need to very, very carefully pin this. So that I can then stitch it. So I'll just work my way around and then I can make
make sure everything is nice and flat too. So it'll be just invisible stitch. Then I'll go looking for maybe some, definitely pearls because that's so wedding. But maybe some crystals and things like that. I don't know if I have many. I don't want to overdo it either. This is very pretty. There's little... You probably can't notice them, but on these big flowers, this guy and this guy, there's clear sequins, and they're just bouncing the light around. If this was on a bride's dress, you'd look at her across a room, and she would seriously look like she was sparkling, I think, because I can see like the sparkles. It's very pretty. There's a heap on this one. These little pins are good. Little applique or applique, however you speak. That little guy there. I like to how I've got this random tulle coming in. You can see the linen, but then there's just this tulle just softening it all. This is a big heart. I'm, I know it'll fit, it will fit on the bodice, but you know, <laughs> once again, bigger than I probably need, but I do love it. He was a drop down, so we need a pin in him. I love how this one's turned down. It goes up and then it comes back down. It's very pretty. There's a lot of detail in those, in that lace. Someone has really thought about the way the plant moves. Now I might trim back the tulle there so that that little leaf underneath really gets to be present because it's got a satiny finish and it looks so sweet. And I don't think we need as much tulle around the top of this. Yeah, that's better. We can now see that leaf. Some of these are just the cutest pins. All right, I think, I think we are stable. Let's give it a flip and a flop. Yep, there we go. Gorgeous, that is so wedding-like. Mm, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I know Grandma would like that. That is just so up her alley. All right, so the next thing is to invisible stitch down all of these little pieces. Now I've lost track of the time, so I might do an, you know, another 10 minutes or so. Just grab my needles and um, And then I'll leave you all alone to get stitching or go do some housework. <laughs> okay. Good old invisible stitch. Now I'll have to be quite um, 
intense with this because I really want this lace to be seated well. So I'm going to have to take my time and really stitch each piece. I, I just want it to melt into the fabric. So I will literally just focus on one leaf and stitch it completely down before I go to the next leaf. Just tiny little stitches. This is going to take hours, but it'll be worth it because it's going on a display piece and, you know, people can't help but touch with their hands. That's just fabric. I think it in, there's that word evokes emotions to touch it. See, that's three times I've used the word evoke. I don't even know where I've heard it. It's obviously in my brain. So if they're going to, you know, use their hands to touch the piece, it's just a natural thing. You want something as dainty as this to be really secure. So I'd say like one little leaf is going to have probably 10 to 15 stitches on it. But that's all good. I do like my invisible stitch. It's like I don't have to think too hard. I just enjoy the stitch. And that'll really feel like it's part of this fabric. Okay, so there's one little leaf. I might just come back along that edge. This is how grandma would have stitched this onto a dress. I used to see her sitting there embroidering lace motifs onto things. Imagine if it was a beautiful bodice and you made an arrow where you you know, you're stitching onto someone's wedding dress. It's not like it's a, an old piece of linen. There we go, up that side. Now I might just trim back the tulle just a little bit. There's a pretty little leaf under there with a lot of shimmer. So we want to seam. There we go. That's, it's subtle, but and I'll probably never ever notice it when I look at it, but I'm seeing it now, so we're going to just take care of it. There's a stem there too that doesn't. Need to be. Let me just pin that out. There. Just to give us a cleaner line down there. That's better. Just finish this little corner and then I'll leave you guys in peace and quiet. I've got some beads there too, so I might even have to change my needle and then slither down into those beads to really make sure they don't go and fall off the end. Just yeah, that's good. That's nice and secure because that was all cut there, and I don't 
don't want it to unravel that beautiful lace it shouldn't because it's not being washed and worn so I'm just slithering up that little leaf a little bit and I'll come back down the other side of the leaf center that feels really good there now I'll just head oh, pins aren't they just the bane of an embroiderers not that I'm an embroiderer but aren't they just the bane of our existence don't pull it tight girl you're gonna pucker so I'm just now bringing my thread back up to where those five little beads are. You probably can't even see. No, well, um, I don't even think I've got Reginald in the room. I think he's in another room. That's all right. I'm sure Reg has a cousin who's probably actually better tempered than Reg himself. Yeah, he's his cousin's. Well, they look just as nasty. <laughs> All right, let's attempt to thread another needle. And this, I want, I'm going to take my glasses off so I can really see. This one, I want to go back through all of those. And just make sure they're nice and secure because you know how it is with this lace that's mass made often the the um, beads and pearls on it just have the bare necessities of a stitch I know um, grandma would not only add to it with beads but she would always 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 go back over it and stitch down everything again. Like there's little beads in the top of that flower. Might just leave this needle in for a bit because I'm gonna head up, up through here. I can take that out. I'm getting my way to the flower. I'm going to go straight to the center. And then I can catch those three in there so they don't wriggle around. They seem so loose. So the flower has a stitch in it now. Now I'm aiming for the beads. There we go. Love is such a good prompt. You can do so much with love. So I've caught the flower in the center and now I'm just, I'm thinking I'm gonna head up to here and then I can work my way back around that bottom edge because I'm sort of, I prefer to work towards myself when I'm stitching. This feels a little bit more natural, so I will sneak up to this very end point and then come back. All right, guys, I'm going to leave you alone now. I think that gives you the general gist, and um, I will say goodbye and see you in the next video. Bye.